We're here with the Casio CZ101, a classic four-voice digital synthesizer from the late 80s. Very nice instrument. It's got maybe 32 uh, total sounds built into it and then cartridges that you can use. Uh, here is one of the sounds without any reverb. The instrument did not have any built-in reverb, but today I'm going to add a little bit of reverb externally because it makes a beautiful sound here. Let me add a touch of reverb. There we go, maybe that much. Very interesting. That's just one note at a time. Uh, let me go to an internal voice. That's a nice horn. I like the sound. Once again, the sound the instrument makes with no reverb is this. So four voices at once, and sort of organ sounding, but add just a touch of reverb, or say, to taste. With a little bit of adjustment if you're playing, you can get really get used to this uh, four voice thing. You just start practicing with two voices, then add three, and then once you've done four, you just have to watch for the cutoffs. Of course, the reverb uh, smooths everything over. <laughs> we're used to playing the instruments that have 16 or 32 voices of polyphony so it takes a little adjustment if you're playing but this was a great instrument sort of like an art pro soloist but you had four voice polyphony which was great um, it had some programming on the front you could program it but programming this was rather difficult But there was a cartridge slot in the back. You could buy sounds for it and put them in. And this was much more affordable than a DX7. This really was uh, something that opened up uh, digital synthesizers to a lot of people. could we do with this thing? Well, you did have a beautiful uh, pitch bender. Let's find that. Ooh. 
Oh, yes. Bird calls and that sort of thing. see it could keep kids like me entertained all day long. Because at this time, uh, the instruments were really frustrating to program. And to have an instrument that has really nice sounds right all built in, all you need to do is just add a touch of reverb. Well, heck, that was great. So as I said, again, this is uh, from the late 80s, the Casio CZ 101. And it's got just a few sounds, but the sounds are good. Give you another example. Some percussion. Very interesting. Okay. Um, other things we haven't mentioned. Nice vibratos. Scary music. missing here is touch sensitivity. You know, really love and use a lot of touch sensitivity on modern instruments and it just wasn't quite here yet. Uh, the instruments that came after this started getting uh, touch sensitivity. It was not just loudness but you would change timbre as you strike it harder. The DX7 had that but it was you know four or five times more expensive. It was a lot more money than this. <laughs> you've enjoyed this instrument as much as I have. A great instrument, the Casio CZ-101, in the collection here at EMIAP. We've been showing you the Casio CZ-101. Here is the Casio CZ-1000, the big brother of that smaller synthesizer. We have here four octaves of full-size keys, so 49 full-size keys and a much larger panel for programming. <laughs> Still basically the same engine, the same, same synth engine, but in a more convenient package for professionals.
That's a little bit of ornamental there at the end. Another great instrument from Casio from the late 80s.